So Duke Orsino in Shakespeare's Twelfth Night said, if music be the food of love, play on. But shouldn't it be just the other way around? You know, for sometimes, isn't food far more romantic than music? And it's over food that you actually get to know the person that you love and find out more about him, his likes, his dislikes, his quirks. You know, it's, it's like having ice cream with that girl that you had a huge crush on and you meet her again after 15 years and you still remember the flavor of that ice cream. Well, actually, who am I to have any arguments with Shakespeare about love if he does not argue with me about food and we just play on? So today we are making a beautiful vegetarian dish with butternut squash, ginger, tomatoes and lime yogurt. But first, since we're talking about love, let's get right to the middle of it. So here it is. First, we just need to take the seeds out. So now all we need to do is take our oven tray, put some foil into it. So the reason I always put a foil in my baking tray when I'm baking is because more often than not, you know, when there are pieces of meat with the fat or there are pieces of vegetable that kind of stick to the tray. And so just to avoid that, it's always easier to work with a foil that is of good quality. Otherwise, you'll have foil attached to your food. Now, a little olive oil. Then you need to add some salt and pepper. And I'm going to put this in 180 degrees, 40 minutes. So now we are going to prep our tomatoes. And we're not just going to bake them, but we're going to fill them with some stuff and then bake them. So what we're going to need, two garlics, a little ginger that I'm going to chop and put in and a red chilli and muscovado sugar. Now, I'm going to just grind this. And a tiny pinch of salt and we are ready. Let's slice our tomatoes vertically. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is, I'm going to scoop up a little so that we have place for our stuffing. Just a little into the heart of every tomato. We're going to drizzle a little olive oil on this. And we're going to put it in the oven for about 20 to 25 minutes at 180 degrees. Our uh, squash is anyway inside the oven. It's been about 20 minutes, so I guess in another 20 minutes, they'll both be ready. Now that our vegetables are in the oven, I'm going to be making some caramel because I love a salad with crunch. The reason I'm making caramel is because I want to pour it over our toasted cashew nuts. So this is as simple as it is. In the meantime, on a tin foil, you put a little oil and then I've already cut up some cashew here, spread everything out. Now, in another bowl, we're going to get our yogurt. Into this goes zest of lime. Caramel is ready. And now, I'm going to just pour it onto the cashew. So now that I've finished with my golden caramel, I will get back to making my dressing. Now what we're going to do is add a squeeze of lime into the yogurt. Add some powdered cardamom. Give this a nice whisk. A little cilantro. This is it. Now I'm just going to plate this 
We're gonna crack our caramel and get my plate ready. And now let's assemble our beautiful warm salad. So I'm gonna take a few pieces. Just gonna cut it up a bit. Now I'm gonna add a little of our dressing to this. Just let it smear all the pieces. So what I'm doing is basically making for you a heart full of yumminess. A little cilantro thrown over. A little dip. And now, just a little caramel. That's it. This lovely dish is made up of ingredients that actually come from all over the world. Squash from Mexico, ginger from Greece, tomatoes from Peru and lime from China. This is truly a labor of love. And this world of ours is getting smaller and smaller. Who knows, one of these days, I too may meet the true love of my life, Bradley Cooper. Who knows, he may be watching this right now. In fact, he must be really wanting to meet me since he, I'm sure he really loves this squash salad that we've made. Uh, this was just a practice. I hope you're not rolling this. Okay, take this link. So this salad is for my husband because he is the true love of my life. And in silence, she eats. For our butternut squash, we need cashew nuts, butternut squash, lime zest, ginger, garlic, red chilies, olive oil, hung yogurt, coriander leaves, lemon juice, cardamom powder, pepper, sea salt, tomatoes, and sugar.